Hi, we're the K3, and this is our new segment that we're calling Final Thoughts, <laughs> where we are taking K-drama that either was super, super popular and we wanted to kind of dig into it a little bit deeper, or ones that we just loved to want to dig in a little deeper. Sometimes you just have a lot of thoughts. You just have more <laughs> thoughts than what our weekly watch list will allow, <laughs> because 20 minutes on one show and a weekly, oh, well, it's just too much. So, we're back. So, we're with that, we're going to do Final Thoughts on Hotel de Luna. Yeah. All right, you guys. So final thoughts on Hotel <laughs> Let's just start broadly. Okay. okay. The story itself, the overall story. Did you, I mean, obviously, I think as a group, we genuinely liked it. But did you, upon reflection, did you, was it, was it, was it a good story or a bad story? Oh, it was, I thought it was a great story. And I think the Hong sisters just, oh, you know, it. yes, totally crushed it on this one. Because the last one they did was Hua Yugi, Ooh. which started off well right. and then really kind of tapered off. And so as we were watching this show, there was really a question of, are they going to not just stick the landing, but are these stories going to all make sense? Because they really parsed out the overall story mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. Manuel, Manuel and the historical and the yeah. reincarnation. And it was all parsed out, but the way it wrapped oh. up and at the end, how they diced up um, and went through everyone on staff. And it was just like emotional every, every time, time left. Yeah. Their Their full mm -hmm. story, we got to know them better and then they left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that, yeah. Of those, those I wish they could have all just taken like, like, a, just like, like a team like, bus. Like we're my tissues. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a team bus. I know. Like, 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 wait, just wait. There's just one. the Band-Aid off and send everybody at once. No, everyone had to have their own ending. I was like, oh yeah, I can't do it anymore. But I liked that they were, each of them were varied and specific. Yeah. Yeah. I think really I, did, I did. I really, I thought it was just a really tight script, a really tight uh, uh, storytelling. And I felt mm -hmm. like they had almost, I mean, again, I think with almost everybody who works on something, you learn every time you do it. I felt like they had learned from each of their stories and pulled yeah. the best from all those stories that we love so much. Mm -hmm. And kind of everything ended up in Hotel de Luna. And I yeah. just, yeah. I just thought it was, it was so good. So like, good. I just what thought I, that. Sorry. No, please. I was going to say what I really enjoyed about the story, um, and you mentioned the Hong sisters, the exploration of all the different types, mm -hmm. like the, all the mythologies around yeah. ghosts and reincarnation and the 49 days mythology and, yeah. this, and, you know, heaven and not heaven. And, you know, yeah. I, I love that all of that was explored to the point, even including a fictitious ghost that needed to be that's transitioned. That's right. Like that's it, right. It wasn't even a real person. It she was just like, well, what ghost can be created out of, like, yeah. out of, like, objects. So, you know yeah. what I really loved was the tree and how it <laughs> anchored yes. the entire story. Right? And, yeah. I did. That I was really, beautiful. It was. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And it was just... It gave, it did, it gave the whole, every time you knew you were at the tree, you knew something like poignant was about to happen, yeah. <laughs> which I really enjoyed. Yeah. Okay, so like, so then like, obviously this whole show was peppered with characters that we, you know, really loved and came to, but which ones were your favorites? Besides Yojingu Yo and yes. Ayu? Besides yes. our Yeah, leads? I yeah. basically said besides the, the besides, besides them. The, because I did, I loved them. I thought they were, I thought they were so well matched. I thought that... I thought that, um, I know there was a big, con not controversy, but there was a big debate over whether it was uh, uh, Chung Sung or uh, or if it was, uh, what is, uh, uh, oh, Chung Myung. Uh, and I was like, I was, I mean, it, there was a, there was a there was lot. Him that, re there's, yeah, there's a lot of historical yeah. there, but I love the relationship that they built together. Yeah. Uh, Ayu and uh, Yojingu. Yeah, and then it kept us guessing, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. that was good. Mm -hmm. It really kind of, they sunk their hooks in that way. <laughs> they did. I really loved seeing her in a grown-up role. Okay. Um, I think this is actually my first show that I watched. Because, because you know, no, we have not no, watched Maya not Jishi. We have. We have not. But I did watch half, as I keep saying, I did watch half of you. You're the best! East um, Oh, right, right, right. Uh, I can't remember the, oh, the name. Yeah. But, uh, I watched it, half of that, and she was. What about uh, Scarlet Heart Rio? And I didn't. See I keep. It, I did ask Twitter. I did ask Twitter if I should watch that or not, or should I just keep watching the clips? And they're like, just watch the clips. Just watch oh, okay. the clips. I'm oh. like, okay, all right, good to know. But but yeah, I thought she she killed it. She I was, thought she she, she did. She, she was owned great. that role. Oh so much. Oh my god. So I did. Okay. So aside from them, because obviously we could gush for oh, ever about these because yeah. I thought they were so well matched. Who was your mm. Who was your favorite after that? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Go ahead, Karen. No, Karen. Knows. <laughs> oh, she well, like, I think we, I think we would probably all agree about uh, Saul Yi Suk as the many incarnations of God. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mago was by far yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Secondary yep. character. So, now, of the many incarnations, did each of you have a favorite of one of those? I love the flower one. 
Oh, oh I, so the happy, the happy. Yeah, happy, yeah. You know, and but this is why, and this is what I loved about the Mago character, and I thought it was a brilliant um, device, device, uh, yeah. writing device, because instead of it just being like the exposition fairy, like some random person would show up, you literally had an exposition fairy in different <laughs> incarnations yeah. based on when you needed her to show up. Uh-huh. So when we needed to know what when he when we needed to know. Uh, how he how he got certain places. The the flower one would show up when th- certain things had to happen. The badass one would show up right. when the, when they needed to learn about luck. The luck randomly there was a luck mago, and I mm-hmm. love the fact that even though this was a device, it was so well executed. Uh, yeah. I like the one holding she down the it. fort. At the, she was great. She was yeah. just commenting on everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she was. My I just, she was my. Yeah, I love that. I love that character. That character. I could have used a little more Grim Reaper. I think. I, yeah. I yes, I agree. <laughs> I wanted to give you your turn, but he was my second. Ken <laughs> Hongsuk. Yes. Oh. Absolutely. A little more of him would yeah. have been just fine. I had more been, of yeah. him toward the end. Yeah. The end, I would like yeah. to have seen more of his relationship with everyone <laughs> yeah. throughout. The, I yeah. mean, we knew there was one yeah. there, but I would have liked to have seen more of that. Because at one point he was chilling out with the bartender. Yes. And you're yeah. just like, hey, they, this, go, this goes back. There's, yeah. some, there's some story there. Yeah, exactly. This is not a first time hanging out. No, obviously. it was great. So, yeah. But I also really like Bei Hei Sun, who played the head oh. of housekeeping. Is that what they called yeah. her? She was great. Yeah, the she was manager. great. She did the manager of yeah. yes. housekeeping. <laughs> Uh, room manager but her storyline was beautiful it was and the way she, her revelation at the end of her life was fantastic or her death well and I think that that's what I really loved about about the story and I think her story told it and I think our little firefly story told it mm-hmm. where forgiveness is big yeah like you know, yeah. I mean, you can you can carry like all that rage and anger forever, but it's really not serving anyone. Right. And so if you can even Especially get to a point, you. yeah, if mm-hmm. you can even get to a point where you can just have a conversation or yeah. you know forgive someone or even understand, like I just I thought that was just a huge like theme through the whole yeah. thing that it was just. So I holding it so, in for hundreds yeah. of years? 1,300? Like, yeah, good not a good Lord. Idea. Let, maybe let not, it go. Let it out. Maybe not the healthiest choice. <laughs> no. But I did. I appreciate the fact that um, that storyline went the way it went. Yeah. The, the Firefly one. Um, oh, because, yeah. And, and, and hers as well. Mm-hmm. I did. I appreciate the fact that mm-hmm. she understood that whole maternal thing. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. she was like, wait, why didn't I think of that? Like, it was mm-hmm. just so heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she did it uh, so well. Yes. There are a lot of tears at the end. So, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So many Seriously, tears at the I end. I think yeah. the last, the last four did, episodes, I, lo- I was just like, <laughs> right? Oh, <look> <laughs> I love the Firefly bit because bit. It's like a bit. <laughs> the bit. Uh, but I, you mean the through line throughout the, 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 the bit, a bit, the entire that whole show. thing. Uh, but I did. I appreciated the fact that he'd always been there, yes. and had she just invoked his name once, once. in thirteen hundred years instead of just. <laughs> but no. Yeah. I will never say his name again. Yeah. Like I just. I. I thought that that was a really. It just. I was. It was just really, it, it was really powerful to me and really mm-hmm. interesting. And I loved how. Um, uh, but isn't uh, that great that that petulance of hers was actually a major plot story? Exactly. Point. That's exactly. such good yes. writing. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it was so well written yeah. that that is like, she was just so much. I will never say his name again. And by God, she didn't. No. <laughs> Until someone finally was like, a thousand uh, years. Yes. You could like say his name yeah. and show up and you can get this out. We can move on. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so I just, I <laughs> did. Look I love like, that. Yeah. Mm, just the, like a little Aww. thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The other thing that I really loved was um, that moment that they had with, um, oh, where's our list? Here he is. Uh, with Yun Wu. Oh, when, her brother. When, yeah. uh, uh, when uh, Chun Suk brought her to see him because he recognized him oh. from the dreams and they had. To- oh, because he's, he's now oh, a detective yeah, in detective. modern day. Yeah. I love that moment so much. Satisfying to you? Mostly because it was super satisfying because I I appreciated the fact that um, uh, Chung Sung was knew what, like he knew his role, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And he still cared about her and he wanted her to be happy, but he was Mm -hmm. also like, you, you, I can't keep this from you. And I just, I He's really... the best kind of fixer. He really was. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what yeah, it was. That's what yeah. it. Like, I just, I, yeah, I just, I really, really enjoyed him so much. Also, she if you enjoyed so the funny. fashion, I followed um, an Instagrammer, kdrama underscore fashion, and mm-hmm. they published so many of IU's outfits oh, and the designers nice. and the shoes. She so if you need more information on that, wardrobe. that's Thank a you. great... I swear, if there is an award in kdrama land... When they give out their awards mm-hmm. for um, for wardrobe or costuming. I right. mean, the show. Oh, but they're all like to win. Paris designers. It was right. amazing. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Now, were there any characters that we hated? Is there any character oh. you were just actively you know, like anti? I want you. You need to leave the show now. 
I didn't hate as a him character? at all, but uh, oh. Pio Pio Ji Hoon, I guess got a lot. There got a lot of criticism for his acting. The bell really? really? Yeah. I so he's, he's an charming. idol. He was from Block B. I, I thought he was. I thought he was adorable, he was adorable so cute. too. I did. But it's just I'm. Just acknowledging that it's out there. Apparently, a lot of people critis- were critical really? of him. Oh yeah. no, I thought he was oh, adorable. I, liked him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure he's ready to lead anything yet, but I thought he was adorable and and I thought he understood the role yeah, very well and, and portrayed it. Aww. interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Sorry, that there awesome. was some, yeah, I know. Some criticism. Yes, <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. We did. For okay, sure. so well, we kind of already have talked about this, but like, what were some of your favorite moments? Oh my gosh. I know. Where do you start? There, right? were, there were a there ton were so of, many. Well, of so can, many. Can I just say in general, like the cameos? The cameos. Yeah, like yeah, almost fantastic. every episode. I was like, yeah. oh, wait, oh, wait. Yeah, I know. I, I, don't, I, know I can't even give you a list. We'll be here for the another right? you know, hour. I only, I only wrote down it while well, starting with the, the, uh, the end. Word. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we'll, okay. we'll leave the end for the end or wherever <laughs> it comes up. But uh, no, Kim Won Hay was oh. the oh my God, <laughs> episode right? one as a corrupt mayor. Of course. He needed to be taken down by a mystical... I appreciated the uh, gun. the crown clown. Uh, the crown clown. Uh, oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. That, was like, that one yeah. was probably my so favorite. So Lee Ki Young. Lee Ki Young. Yeah. That was probably my favorite. You can't even show Yejin. I liked uh, Lee Jun Ki, <laughs> the Exorcist. That was, yeah. So that was your spell. Oh. And, 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 and because they did invoke Puck. Puck I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so fantastic. And it wasn't a cameo, although it could have been Hong Sisters, but they did do a shout out at least to Soji <gasps> Sob. Soji Sob. That, that was right. He's like, he's like when the, uh, the bartender is like, he's like, what now that I'm going to be known for the excellent writer that I was way back when? He's like, who do you think would play me on TV or in the movies? Oh God, that was so <laughs> and she's like, uh, and he's like, I kind of see a similarity. The kids call him so nice, and she's like, Soji Sub. You think? Oh, sure, yeah, you look like Soji <laughs> Sub. And I was just like, yay! <laughs> and can I say just uh, Soji Sub aside? Uh, uh, I Art. love the resolve on that storyline. Like as much as I did enjoy, oh, them. Yeah. I just I was so. I was so happy for the the poor writer that was basically, and that's the other thing, like that writer who was just drinking coffee yeah. in the hotel for the entire show. They finally gave him yes. purpose. Like yeah. it was just, I thought, again, I thought they did such a nice job of wrapping stuff up. Like, you know, yes. we complain so many times about shows where like suddenly in the last two episodes, it's like, you know, plot, 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 plot. And like trying to hurry up and wrap, wrap it up. Things out and sometimes one, they throw things away. You could tell that they, they knew exactly where everything was supposed to go. And it got yes. laid out so well that it was so satisfying in each spot. The string that actually attached the bride to the groom, yes. I think they used on their right? boys. Like they actually they, a- yes. attached everybody yes. in a way across episodes oh. that was really yeah. Aces. It was just so, and even like when we were talking about the um, the serial killer, we were kind of like, I don't understand the serial killer story. Like, like it doesn't you, make a lot of yeah, sense. Was, like, what's like, he's driving oh. something forward, but and um, then all of a sudden it was like that key moment <laughs> of how she's gonna like you know destroy worlds. I was like, oh, I know, not sure how he got so powerful, but. Yeah, it was something I don't remember. I, can't remember. I, I don't remember the, the actual details, either, but I appreciate like, the fact that he was such a key part of the of her survival. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, it's like they just they just they had everything covered, and yes. it was just mm-hmm. that is what I just love. And they and, didn't and they didn't have to mash it all in at the end. No, 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 no. exactly, exactly. This would be an amazing binge because now that the tension of is this going to end well? <laughs> well that's what I just said. I'm like, is it rewatchability? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, what do you think? Like, I think hell yes. Like, I can't wait for like the holidays to come and like to get no. a little bit of a because I would love to rewatch it knowing what everything is is yeah. happening and going from there. And just to get to that ending again, right? <laughs> oh my god, that ending was. <laughs> Ending. Before we get to the the the, the, the epilogue end. yeah. ending, what do you their guys ending. like? Their ending, like it's the the Hongster did a, did an interview at the end, and they were like, it's kind of open ended. Like that was just what he believes is going to happen. Like it was really interesting to read oh, everybody's really? take on it. I feel oh, like okay. I feel like as a viewer, but you can decide you what can, that is. It's too. kind of a choose your own adventure, in yeah, my personal I didn't opinion. Mind that. And so I was okay. Sometimes with I that. mind that, but yeah. in the show, probably because everything was resolved yeah. so well, that didn't. That didn't like I, me. I was like, me, oh, it's kind of for, for me. They met in some other lifetime, yeah. and it was all well, and then they're all, together, and they're together, and it all works out. So I just so good. It was. It was so good. But I don't I don't think you could have ended it in, in retrospect because at the time you're like, oh yeah, they have to stay together. But once it was over, it was like, oh no, it couldn't it couldn't end. Oh, there's really other. no way that it was no, up, unless he no, died right? and went with her, which I was worried I was about worried at some about point. That. I'm like, if they do yes. this, I'm gonna be so mad. Yeah. But they and, just and did they such so. an amazing job, and it was just such a satisfying show that I just I can't wait to sit down and rewatch it. And then 
The, the, my only hesitation, and this is my only criticism, and I did mention it a little bit throughout, is uh, sometimes the episodes felt very long. Well, they, I mean, they were nine they, and a half. They were 90 <laughs> minutes each. So, but I, but I was thinking about that a lot mm -hmm. because we've talked, because the storytelling mm -hmm. was so good and the pacing, what I wouldn't, right. if you would change the pacing, I think we would have run into those situations mm -hmm. trying to mm -hmm. cram too much in or some of those storylines yeah. wouldn't have even existed. Yeah. So it's kind of like, well, okay, it's, you know, it was a TVN show and you have an hour and a half slot. Yeah. Perfect. Right. It was a perfect show. So I, I just, think maybe it wasn't, I was, wasn't expecting yeah. the episodes to be that long. So I'm like, why is it taking so long? It's like, yeah. Karen, Karen, they're, ni they're 90 minutes each. Oh, oh yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> like they did. I, I, on the other hand, was like, every time 90 minutes was up, I was like, damn it. Damn. I needed more. Oh, but it was, it no, was, I felt very, it, uh, I think so I, I mentioned this a few it. times. It's kind of like those, that, like that great novel that you read like once a year because the story is just so perfect. Like, you know, the parts you love, yeah. you know, the parts that you're like, oh no, you know, what's you gonna know, happen. You know the resolve, you know, like it's just, it's like, it's like the, one of those perfect books that you pull down off the shelf, like once a year just to revisit. <laughs> and that's kind of how I felt about it. And since we've only watched it once and it, right. they are 90 minutes and yes. this is 16, it's 16, 16, right? It wasn't 20, yeah. it was 16, 16 episodes. I know that I've forgotten so much so already. Much, right? It's just going to be such a pleasure to so, go back and right? watch it again. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. So yeah, so that's kind of, those, yeah. I mean, does anybody have any final, final well, Oh my we God, we didn't, mention, oh, we didn't even mention I the I think final we have episode. one final, 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 one final, final, final thought. You mentioned an epilogue, Jen. <gasps> that epilogue. Oh, Him with that Kim glass. Kim Soo-yeon. And the oh, rings. God. And the vest. And the, stunt, and the, and the strut, shoes. And the strut. And the, and the, whole, and the turn. Oh, and the lighting. Oh, drink. I have never, God. I have never had a Kim Soo-hyung problem until that moment. <laughs> Major problem now. Wow. What I say is welcome back. Right? Yeah, like back. That's, a way, that's a way to be like, I'm back. I'm like, back. Oh, Kishin. wow. Uh, should we go back and watch the producers with him and IU? Ooh. She was I only, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, I only, yeah, I, 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 I only watched a couple of I only watched a part of that episodes yeah, at the time, yeah. I, I think it was it. really new to K-dramas, yeah, so. Me too. I, probably, I think I'd probably go, Ooh, watch, do we go back, back and watch, watch My Love from Another Star before I'd rewatch the, or uh, before I'd right. watch the producers. Yeah. Yeah. I love that show. Oh. That's the show I would go back and rewatch. Okay. Also. All right. Oh, great. Our list is getting longer. I know. This keeps getting longer. I'm just going to leave Hotel de Luna. Who would like to pay us to watch dramas full time? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. Our final thoughts on Hotel de Luna. Let us know what your final thoughts are a couple weeks after the fact that it's all wrapped up. Did you have new thoughts? Did you have old thoughts? Did you have recurring thoughts? Are you just starting to watch it now? Yes. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. We're the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Karen. I'm Marisa. And if you want to see what we're thinking about all of our other shows that we usually watch in any given week, check out one of our weekly watch lists here and you can see what our thoughts are. We'll see you next time. Bye.